I don't know what you came to do. I don't know what you came to do, but I came to praise the Lord. Church, I don't know what you came to do. Hallelujah, missionary Morgan and the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord, saints of God. We are now at a time when we're going to be blessing the Lord with our tithes and our offerings. So can you stand with me? Join me as I read from Malachi 3, verse 8 to 12. Can you please stand if you're able to stand? Hallelujah, Jesus. And it reads, Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. But ye say, Wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. Ye are cursed with a curse, for ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house. And prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes, and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground. Neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in the field, saith the Lord of hosts. Twelve and last, and all nations shall call ye blessed, for ye shall be a delightsome land, saith the Lord of hosts. I will now invite missionary Reed to bless the tithes and offering. Hallelujah, Jesus. Father in heaven, God, as we come in your presence, mighty God. In your presence, God, there is fullness of joy. And at your right hands, mighty God, there are pleasures forevermore, mighty God. As we gathered here, mighty God, to worship you, God, in spirit and in truth, mighty God. Father God, I pray right now, God Almighty, as we are about to give the day's tithes and offering, mighty God. I pray, mighty God, that you sanctify it, mighty God. I pray, mighty God, that you open up the windows of heaven right now, Jesus. And pour out a blessing upon your people that they don't even have room to contain it right now, Jesus. God Almighty, we call for not for 30 fold, not for 60 mighty God, but a hundred fold in the name of Jesus. You said you have never seen the righteous forsaken. Now receive begging bread, mighty God. And I pray right now, Jesus, that God Almighty you do for your people what no other one can do right now, Jesus. God, we tell you thanks for this time, mighty God. In Jesus' precious name, amen. I will now invite Missionary Johnson to read the affirmation statement of faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With your tithes and offering in your right hand, please repeat after me. As we give our offerings today, we are believing God for jobs or better jobs, raises and bonuses, promotions and benefits, deals and better deals, houses and lands, cars and limousines, Checks in the mail, debts demolished, bills paid off, and sicknesses to miraculously disappear. And the return of everything the enemy has taken from us. And we seal that with a hallelujah. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. The King Jesus Pentecostal Fellowship Choir will now minister for the lifting of same. Oh. 
Hallelujah.
you gonna look for me oh, one of these days you gonna look for me oh, one of these days yeah, yeah, you gonna look for me oh, I'll be changing the twinkling of a night and give the Lord Jesus a praise in this house. Come on, open your mouth and give the Lord a praise. If you decide to go up higher, open your mouth and shout a praise unto the Lord. Hallelujah! Praise God. God is good and his name is worthy to be praised. His name is Jesus Christ. I honor him because he is God all by himself. Praise God. I just thank the Lord. Praise God to be in the house one more time. The holy angels of the Lord that is in and among us today, God Almighty. They are ready to do whatsoever the Lord have commanded them to do. I greet. Praise God, the most noble in our midst, our general overseer, Bishop Winston Royal Baker. Give the Lord a praise for him, saints, for what God is using him to do in the kingdom of God. I greet, praise God, the ministers in your respective office. I greet you all in the name of Jesus. Wonderful saints and those who are visiting from near and from far, I greet you all. Wonderful choir, aren't they looking good? Praise God. God is a good God. Praise God. We have in our midst, praise God, Pastor Moses and Pastor Daly. Praise God. And we have... Come on. I just want you all to stand and give the Lord a shout of praise. Praise God. Everybody. Yes, all of Yes, 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 yes. One more time. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. God has been good. Praise God. We have in our midst today, praise God, a newly appointed pastor. Praise God. Of our branch will be in Canada. Praise God, praise God. We're going to ask pastor just, just to come and greet you in the name of... Come on, give the Lord a joy. Praise, praise God. King Jesus Pentecostal is spreading all over the world in Jesus name
I just want to tell the Lord, thanks for today. I thank you, God, for everything you have done. <clears throat> I thank you, God, for my bishop there, and the general overseer. This, I don't know no one in this church. I don't know nobody. <clears throat> I'm in Canada, but um, I watched this man for like more three years now. He's a hard man to get. You can't get this man on the phone, you know, but... I've been going around telling people that this man is my bishop, and this man don't know me. I don't know this man, but I'm seeing him. I, I tell people in Canada, this, this is the best thing in this, since sliced bread. Trust me. But while I was there in Canada, something happened in the spiritual realm concerning him and I, and one of his right hand, some man. But I was so confused. So the Lord said, when you go to Jamaica, sit right there. Don't say nothing. Just sit and watch. And I will tell you about this man. So the first thing the Lord said to me, he said, he said me twi- two things. But one other thing he said, this man is wise. He's wise. So Thursday night, while I was there, my wife was worshiping, and I saw the man. This thing no plan. It no plan. No planning. I saw the man coming around to my wife, and this man is coming to me and my wife. I was so frightened. This is no plan. But the Lord told me, you must stop watching Bishop Baker until you come back from Jamaica. Don't watch no more. But I didn't know what that mean. But after Thursday, one of my wife, aunt, she's right there. She said to me, do you know that Bishop Baker said last week on the YouTube that he got to open a branch in Canada? The reason why the Lord said, don't watch him anymore. The Lord don't want me to know about the Canada. But, so, this is strange to me. Sir, I honor you, sir. And I love you. I love you, my bishop, sir. I thank you. You're really at here from God. Come on, give the Lord a praise, everybody. Praise God. We just asking you all just to stand at this moment. It's time for the word. I just want to encourage everybody that the preacher, sometimes he don't have time to lay hands on everybody. But if you want your deliverance while the preacher is preaching, don't keep your mouth shut. You can receive your deliverance wheresoever you are without in him have to lay hands on you. So come on, put your hands together as we receive at this moment our general overseer, Bishop Winston Royal Baker with the word in Jesus' name. Somebody keep those hands clapping. Come on, worship. But you can do better than that. Open your mouth and give God a stronger praise. He's worthy. Come on, somebody. Throw your head back open your mouth wide and send up judah come on somebody release a strong praise in this house he deserves all our praises somebody give god the lord jesus christ the great god of abraham isaac and of jacob a high praise in this house Jehovah is our God somebody praise him turn to your neighbor and say neighbor my good neighbor glad to see you you're at the right place at the right time for your miracle come on and smile a little bit and say glad to see you you're at the right place at the right time for your breakthrough clap your hands open your mouth give god a real praise in here somebody tell the lord jesus thank you he's worthy while you remain standing please turn your bibles with me to isaiah chapter 40 and verse 29 isaiah chapter 40 and verse 29 
Hallelujah. God is a good God. Let me take this privilege first to greet the Holy Ghost. Who is the source of my life. Who pulls me out of nature's darkness. And place me in his marvelous light. Let me greet all the holy angels. That were sent forth to minister to them that are years of salvation. How many know the angels of the Lord encamp it? Round about them that fear the Lord. I greet the holy angels. I greet this beautiful clergy, ministers and pastors and evangelists and elder and pastors in the pew, praise God, and evangelists and saints of the most high God and visiting friends, my good friend, Brother Diram, those who are connected to us through YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, King Jesus TV, and Vives Radio Station. God is a good God. Our newly appointed pastor, Pastor Maduri, praise God, and Evangelist Maduri, where she is. Hallelujah to God. King Jesus is coming to Canada. Over in Nova Scotia, Oh, somebody said Nova Scotia. Open and give way right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The kingdom of God suffereth violence. And the violent take Nova Scotia by force. The kingdom of God is forcefully advancing. And we declare the advancement of the kingdom of God in Nova Scotia may the high ranking angels go forth and do warfare hallelujah by the power of Jesus blood we declare and decree that King Jesus Pentecostal fellowship is open in Nova Scotia Canada by the power of Jesus name somebody clap your hands open your mouth it's, it's huh shia basa it's not by might nor by power it is by my spirit says the lord i just feel somebody left shoulder pain in the left shoulder work it off right now and take your healing shia basa right now take it in Jesus name glory to god feel the power of god somebody open your mouth call let me touch your son in the name of Jesus Christ, be healed by the power of the blood of Jesus. Somebody open your mouth. Shout one more praise in here. Wave your hands and give the Lord. Shia Basa. A mighty praise. Come on, somebody. Open your mouth and glorify the King. He's Lord. He is Lord. Hallelujah. Let's go. To Isaiah chapter 40. Shia Basa. Glory to God. Isaiah chapter 40. Verse 29. When you're there, just shout a hallelujah. Yes. He giveth power to the faint. And to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Let's read it out loud one more time, please. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Please put down your Bibles, your two hands towards the direction from whence cometh your help, palm lifted in the air. And let's talk to our daddy, eternal God and our father. How excellent is your name in all the earth. 
This earth is full of your glory. Have your way in this house. Move by your spirit. Give deliverance and freedom in the name of Jesus Christ. Arise, dear Lord, please. And let all of your enemies be scattered. Somebody throw your head back, open your mouth, and shout the blood of Jesus Christ. Come on, one more shout in the name of Jesus. Before you take your seat, I want you to turn to four people, look them dead in the eyes, and say, neighbor, my good neighbor, I'm not in the darkness of the tomb. I'm in the darkness of the home. Come on in here. I'm not in the darkness of the tomb. I'm in the darkness of the home. Somebody clap your hands, open your mouth, and shout one more praise. He's worthy. You may be seated in the presence of God. Hallelujah to God. You may be seated. I was lying on the bed this morning. This verse of scripture keep on ringing in my spirit. Hallelujah. And while I was there praying, I heard the Lord said, Speak to my people. Let them know I give power to the faint. Hallelujah. To them that have no might, Jesus can increase your strength. He's such a God that he promised his people, I'll never leave you nor forsake you but i'll be with you even unto the end of the world he's such a god hallelujah when you are at your lowest state jesus is just getting ready to show up in your life <laughs> hallelujah to god the bible said that isaiah is the eagle I prophet. They call him the Negle I prophet. He is a deep prophet. He's so deep that when he's in the realms of the spirit at times and speak to Israel, he was out of their time. None could understand what he's saying. Isaiah declares, speaking about the Messiah that should come, the Messiah, the anointed one. He was wounded for our transgression. How can you say he was and he's not yet? He was bruised for our iniquities. Isaiah, the Messiah, will not come until 670 years down the road. But Isaiah was so deep when he looked. Things which were not seems as they were. Because he's looking from an eternal eye. I want you to understand that. So Isaiah, he was transported to the temple. The house of God, the heavenly temple. And uh, it was Isaiah who declared that, uh, that God is a singular being. Is not the way some theologian split him up, dissect him, and put him into personalities. Isaiah said that. <laughs> The year that King Uzziah died, I also saw the Lord, not those lords, but the Lord. Isaiah declared that he was sitting on his throne. Isaiah let us know that there is only one throne in heaven. And that there is only one that sits on the throne. 
Yes, Isaiah was in the spirit, and Isaiah said that he that sat on the throne had on a robe, and the sash, the chain, the sash of the robe, oh, full the temple. In other words, his splendor and his glory. Oh, Jesus, full the temple. God is a glorious God. And Isaiah declared that he saw the throne and around the throne was seraph. Angels that is called seraphim, the burning ones. Isaiah declared that they had six wings holy ghost so the seraphims were the nearest the closest to the throne uh -huh. and so if there were other personalities in god isaiah would see it mm -hmm. you can put it or you want it dissect it or you want it i'm staying right where the bible is you can split it up for me. I'm going to stay right where the Bible is. Let the Bible explain itself, please. And so Isaiah said, these six wings angels, they carry two wings to cover their feet. Two wings to cover their faces. And with two wings, they did fly. Showed me that. These beautiful beings, uh, Jesus, that is full of splendor. When they are in the presence of God, they cover their beauty. Oh, Shia, because no spirit must get any glory in God's presence. All glory belongs to Jesus, please. Excuse me when you want to show up yourself. You know when you're coming to the temple and you want to be seen. You're coming to the blood, Jesus, fire. Somebody echo the blood. That's a Jezebel. I just see one. I hit him in the name of Jesus Christ. All right, let's preach. And so you see, when you're in the presence of God, you got to Put yourself on the back page and let Jesus get all the glory. I want you to know, preachers, sisters, brothers, when you come around this holy desk and you're called to do something, don't come around this desk talking about yourself. Don't come around this desk trying to show yourself. Jesus will walk away and leave you. But when you walk behind this desk, you must say, Lord, let self be slain and let all glory go to you. So the angels cover their faces. Oh, Shia, Mama, so feel the power of the Holy Ghost in my belly. And so when you're called to be a leader, you got to be tough. Because you see, people don't, uh, not everybody wants to suffer with God. Not everybody that you see in church wants to give God the glory. They are here to promote themselves, they are here to pick up themselves. So if they are not getting what they want, they begin to fight one another. Oh, slap your neighbor, say, neighbor, please stop malice me, man. I am not your enemy. All of us have the same enemy. The same enemy fighting me. It's the same one that is after you. Leave the bishop when he's preaching. God will knock your big toe. Because bishop got to preach what God sent him to preach. You don't have the power to take his eyes from off the prize. You don't know what's happening in the church. So who are you to tell me not to hit? When Jesus said a little bit of whipping will keep you ticking. 
Mm, where is the worshippers? So a preacher got to have backbones because in every church there is a Judas, and in every church there's a Thomas, and in every church there is a Peter and Jesus got to deal with everybody so sit tight anytime the bishop preach and it's not yours don't cry out if you cry out that mean you just get a hit and if you're a good child of God every time you get the whipping you just keep on ticking please where is the worshippers because a stubborn child hates you when you rebuke them but when you are a pudent child when you are rebuked you love the teacher sit tight let us talk a little bit we are in church and so i was on the bed this morning with tears in my eyes every now and then you will feel like you're all alone every now and then you will feel like you lose it every now and then you will feel like you have no strength every now and then you will feel like you're gonna give up every now and then you're gonna feel like you're in the tomb but touch your neighbor said it's dark but you are not in the tomb you are in the home can i go in please come on tell somebody i'm not in the tomb oh shia all right tell two more people i'm not buried i'm planted i feel preaching in my belly bottom come on tell the neighbor i am not buried i'm planted it might be dark but weeping may endure for a night i'm coming back right there but i feel something in my belly isaiah now declare he asks Israel the question Has thou not known Has thou not heard That the everlasting God The Lord The creator of the ends of the earth He fainted not Neither is he weary There is no searching Of his understanding you see you got to know who god is there's no limit to god he's limitless he's not finite he's infinite he's not human being he is not mortal he is immortal you got to understand who god is he's omnipotent he's only present and he's omniscient can i go through that omni mean all that's what it means in the greek all so when i said he's omni present it means he's everywhere at the same time watch this and because god is everywhere he full all space and time it makes him omniscient yes because he's everywhere he knows everything and because he knows everything and he's everywhere he is omnipotent oh shia tell your neighbor he's all powerful come on he stand in a class all by himself no devil can come near him he's God all by himself he's in every place beholding the evil and the good can I take five minutes and talk about my daddy please come on somebody he's everywhere he can do everything there is none like him he's God he's in a class all by himself where is the worshippers he is the only God that full all space and time and because he is dear he knows everything and guess what about him he can do 
everything. David put it like this, O oh Lord, thou search me and you know me. Thou knowest my down sitting and my uprising. Thou understandest my thoughts from afar off. Thou compassest my parts and my lying down. Thou art acquainted with all my ways. For there is no word in my tongue. Oh, Shia, he knows all the thoughts that flows through your mind. Come on, where is the worshippers? But thou, Lord, Lord, thou knowest it all together. Thou hast beset me behind on before and laid thine hand upon me. Can I talk about him, please? Come on, touch your neighbor. That's my daddy. He's talking about such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is too high. I cannot attain unto it. Whether shall I go from thy spirit? Or whether shall I go from thy presence? If I ascended up into heaven, thou art there. Come on, touch the person person on your right and said that's my daddy he's talking about oh Jesus and if I make my bed in hell behold thou art there touch the one on your left now and say that's my daddy he's preaching about and if I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost part of the sea even there shall thy right and lead me touch the person before you and said that's my daddy oh he's talking about come on warriors I feel I'm going to preach today even thy hand lead me and thy right hand shall hold me if I say surely darkness shall cover me even the night and the light uh-huh are about me can I go in please touch the person on your back and say neighbor my good neighbor that's my daddy every time the devil mess with the people of God God just changed his name he gave them a blank check and send them in the wilderness and every time the devil tests God just changed his name the devil test Israel he said I am Jehovah Jireh the God that provides for my people the devil mess with them again and God has changed his name I am Jehovah Shalom the God that giveth thee peace the devil mess with Israel again and God has changed his name and said I am Jehovah Rapha the God that healed thee tell somebody that's my daddy that's my daddy the devil mess with them again and God changed his name and said I am Jehovah Nissi the God that fights I feel it in my hand reach your neighbor say neighbor this one is not yours this battle is not yours this one belongs to God is there any worshiper in here can give this battle to God come on give it over give it over give it over say Lord this one is on you Come on, this one is on you, Lord. This battle belongs to you. I'm not going to fight. I'm going to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. The enemies you see today, you shall see them again no more forever. For the Lord shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace all right sit down let's talk about him for two more minutes he said yeah 
dark, the darkness hide it not from thee but the night shine it as the day the darkness and the light are both alike to thee mm. let's go to the next level now for thou hast possessed my reins you know what the rain is the rain is the kidney and so he said daddy you are in my kidney because you see the kidney is the organ oh shire that made you strength come on tell somebody uh -huh. uh -huh. tell your neighbor oh the range is in my range oh that's the liver come on the range come on tell your neighbor he control the liver and you know what the liver does it give information to the whole body so he said God is inside of the liver Oh Shia, thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. Can I go in right there, please? God is not only in all space and time, God is also inside of your body. When you were in your mother's womb, Daddy Jesus was right there with you. Can I go in, please? It's kind of flat, too tight. Come on, slap your neighbor. Tell them we are in church. Let's talk about our God. His name is Jesus Christ. He said, wherever the two or the three are gathered, touching anything concerning me i'm right in the midst don't miss this you know jesus said that while he was walking in galilee while he was walking with the 12 he said to the 12 anywhere anybody any two comes together touch your neighbor said the power of two come on come on tell him that's a law there's a law by the name the law of two anytime you learn to connect with the right person you become unstoppable he said wherever the two are gathered in my name and they connect here I am in the midst. I feel the power of two. Is there anybody in here can connect with somebody right now? You see, there's a law named the law of two. You see, you can only bloom where you're planted. Come on, tell somebody that's the law of two. There's a commanded blessing. See, in other words, you got to be where. The blessing is commanded. If you are out of place, you can't multiply. You got to be where you were planted. If you uproot yourself and you go where you were not planted, you will not bring forth fruit. Somebody say where you were planted. That's where God command growth. Uh -huh. Where is the worshiper? Oh, slap your neighbor, tell them that's why God sent you here. Tell two people that's why God sent you here. God sent you here to plant you where you can bloom. Because if the soil is not fertile, you can't bring forth fruit. And slap your neighbor, say, neighbor, look around you. Can you see how fertile the land is? don't you see multiplication oh shire he said to elijah go to the brook and when you go to the brook there i'm gonna feed you because i command ravens to feed you dear tell somebody the power of two oh shanda basaya one cannot multiply you need two that's why jesus said in the mouth of two shall every truth be established so you need somebody to plant the seed in your life because there's a seed in two 
Where is the worshippers? Oh God. Without the seed, there can be no multiplication. Anytime a man need, why a husband need a child? The husband call to his wife and he planned it. Where is the worshippers? And if the farmer need a harvest, he got to get the corn green. The corn have to go in the where is the worshippers, man? It's kind of tight. Too tight. Reach your neighbor. No one said neighbor. I feel the power of two in here. Oh, Shanda. When you're going through, you're going through. You need an intercessor. You need a gap stander to connect with. And if you can connect yourself to a real prayer warrior, then whatever you're going through, got to give way because the power of two will bring down anything when you connect yourself with a prayer warrior you become unstoppable who am i talking to throw your head back open your mouth and shout one more praise come on shout one more praise come on come on somebody shout one more praise sit down let me talk to you now and so the bible says he giveth power to the faint you got to be careful because as a child of god there are stages you go through as a child of god you will find yourself in deep waters as a child of god you will find yourself in the wilderness as a child of god you will find yourself in the valley but you got to understand the god of the mountain top is the god of the valley true and god says if he bring you to it he can take you through it come on slap to people tell them the god that bring you to it can take you through it and if god take you to it you got to trust him and watch god bringing you through the valleys of the shadow of death tell the neighbor i ain't go fear no evil because of the power of two i am not alone his rod and his staff they comfort me is there any warrior in here can find somebody connect with somebody you got to connect to collect up your mouth warriors take two minutes you can be going through but you got to hold on to god when you're going through don't give up when you're going through hold fast when you're going through don't deny when you're going open your mouth hold on to god drop it on my foot preacher hold on to god and change in hand is there any warrior in here that is going through the valley open your mouth and say me now nah, give up me now nah, let go me now nah, throw in the towel he give it power to the faint where is the warriors in here i say he give it power to the faint anybody feel weary in here anybody feel weary anybody feel like giving up anybody feel like throwing in the towel come on warriors open your mouth open your mouth open your mouth take two minutes take two minutes speak over your own life it's dark it's dark in here it's rough in here it's tough in here but i'm not 
throwing in the towel. I'm not committing no suicide. I'm not plugging out. I'm not uprooting myself. I'm not running away. Where is the worshippers? Me not give up. Me not let go. Somebody say something. Say something. Say something. Take two minutes. Take two minutes. Praise God one more time. I said, praise God one more time. I don't care what the doctor tell you. I don't care what the doctor tell you. The man might walk out on you. The woman might say she don't want the relationship no more. Come on, warrior, show your head back. The boss might say, I don't need your service no more. What are you going to do when everybody turn their back on you? What are you going to do when God gone silent on you? What are you going to do when you can't feel the anointing the way you used to feel the anointing? You got to do it like Job. I turn to the right. I can't find him. I turn to the left. I can't find him. I look up. I look down. There is no way to be found. You got to do it like Job. He knows the way I take. And when I come out, I'm coming out. I spear God. Somebody prophesy over your own life. When this is over, I'm coming out stronger than how I get in. I get in as a tail. But when I come out of this, I'm coming out as the head. I get in weak, but I'm coming out strong. Somebody take two minutes. Open your mouth. Shout one more praise. Shout one more praise. Shout one more glory. Shout again. Shout again. Shout again. Shout again. Shout one more praise. Shout again. I feel a shift taking place. I feel a shift taking place. Somebody open your mouth. Magnify God. Open your mouth. Shout again. This too will pass. This too will pass. Tell somebody this too will pass. He might not come when you want him to open your mouth he might not show up when you expect him to but I stop by to tell somebody he's an on time God yes he is who am I preaching to he's an on time God tell somebody he's an on time God he's an on time God come on warriors come on warriors Mary said if you had been here our brother would not have died but Jesus says your brother shall live she said we know that he will live in the day of resurrection but Jesus says I am the resurrection and I am the life he that believeth in me though you were dead yet shall you live and he that liveth and believeth in me shall never die somebody open your mouth Jesus show up and said the thief come but to steal to kill and to destroy but Jesus said I am come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly tell somebody God said to tell you live live it's dark but live it's rough but live live prophesy 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 you shall live I say you shall live and not die 
shall leave and declare the works of the Lord. Somebody shout one more praise. Shout one more glory. Shout one more praise. Throw your head back. I said, throw your head back. Shift the dynamics. Throw your head back. Shout again. Shout again. Shout again. Shout again. Shout again. Somebody open your mouth. It's dark. I say it's dark. It's rough. It's tough. The hills are hard to climb. But God sent me to tell you. Don't give up. Don't give in. Don't let go. There's nobody around you to encourage you. Then David and the people that were with him lift up their voice and wept until they had no more power to weep. There are times in your life you don't have no tears left. You don't have no cry left. You don't have no weep left. Is there anybody I've been to it? You can't cry. You just got to groan in the spirit. For the spirit himself make an intercession with groanings that cannot be uttered. Somebody groan in the Holy Ghost. Somebody groan in the Holy Ghost. Somebody groan in the Holy Ghost. Groan in the Holy Ghost. Up me your mouth. Up me your mouth. David. David was greatly distressed for the people's peck of stoning him because the soul of the people was grieved every man for his sons and daughters come on but David encourage himself in the Lord come on reach your neighbor as a neighbor you got to do it for yourself there's a time in a Christian walk when nobody is gonna encourage you when the bishop you expect a word from the bishop but you can't get no word you expect your mommy are your daddy your best friend to encourage you but they need encouragement for themselves and David David and David said to Abatar the priest son of Amalek he said bring me the ephod when you are discouraged and nobody's there to help you nobody's there to pat you on your back no one is there to encourage you you need to call for the ephod is there anybody in here need the ephod bring me the ephod bring me the ephod I want to go into God I want to talk to God I want to go face to face with God and only the ephod can hide me from the judgment of God only the ephod can cover me somebody say bring me the blood bring me the blood bring me the blood of Jesus I need the blood of Jesus I need the blood of Jesus somebody echo the blood 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 I need the blood over me I need blood coverage when I'm going through my dark time I need the blood when I'm going through the valley I need the blood when enemy turn against me I need the blood, the blood of Jesus, cover me, somebody open your mouth, for Jesus says, when I see the blood, I pray. somebody say blood, 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 
somebody find somebody right now I said find somebody right now and say blood coverage blood coverage I mean comprehensive I mean from your head to your toe even I cover you with the blood I know the devil want to kill you but I cover you with the blood the devil want to assassinate you but I cover with the blood the be a hit man to kill you but I cover with the blood I hide you with the blood chance I want to get you out but I hide you with the blood and I declare and decree no car crash no heart attack no high blood pressure no diabetes no witch no warlock no obia no black magic white magic contagious magic no voodoo no hoodoo she do blood coverage blood 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 comprehensive somebody hide somebody somebody hide I hide you I hide you I hide you I hide you for his blood it reaches the highest mountain it flows to the lowest valleys for he was wounded for my transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of my peace was upon him and with his stripes with his stripes i am here somebody open your mouth take two minutes and begin to echo the blood 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 right now somebody cover your house hide your house under the blood i see a ball of fire i see somebody i see somewhere burning down with fire so cover your house now cover your community blood blood from fire from fire from fire i see a ball of fire blaze yeah. blood coverage no fire at your house come on man no fire at your workplace bring the baby come In the name of Jesus Christ, Abigail, I speak over your life. Complete healing now. In the name of Jesus Christ, you shall not die, but you shall live and be a prophetess in this land. Somebody open your mouth and echo blood, blood. she didn't tell me anything i said she didn't tell me anything i don't know if she texts me or call me but i wish she didn't because i didn't see anything so i hope she didn't but she didn't tell me anything but god tell me that the baby is completely healed by the fire of god somebody open your mouth man shout another praise Showed one more glory. Showed one more praise. Come on, warriors. There are times in the Christian walk you feel like you are in a tomb. But God said you are not in the darkness of a tomb. You are in the darkness of a womb. And you're coming out. Oh, Shanda. I feel the power of God. Shake somebody's hand and tell them you're coming out. And you're coming out with power. You're coming out. You're coming out with power. God increases strength. You're coming out with strength. Oh, come on, warriors. Up your mouth and say something. Up me your mouth. Up me your mouth and say something. Up me your mouth and say something. Shire. David said, bring 
me the ephod. Cover me with the blood. Shire. David put on the blood of Jesus. He stepped out of his time. Because the blood is for the New Testament. But David was shifting from testament to testament. Because David is from the tribe of Judah. And only those who are from the tribe of Levi can wear the priest, the garment. But David was shifting from, from being just a king to a priest. Because the ephod, the blood, would what make the New Testament Christians. Both priests and kings. So David shift over. Oh, Shia. And he put on his priestly garment. Oh, Shia. Touch your neighbor and tell him I have it on. Look at me good and both priest and king. Every now and then I shift over. Oh, Shia. When you're going through anything and you come to me, I put on my priestly garment and I stand in the gap for you. And when demons come and I try to defeat you, I shift over from my priestly office and I step in my kingly office. I take dominion. I open my mouth and I shut down every demonic powers. And whatsoever I say, when you open your mouth, if you ask in my name, I will do it, says the Lord. Where is the warrior? Hallelujah. Whatsoever you bind on the earth. I feel a shutting down right now in the somebody put on your kingly garment put on your kingly robe shift over shut down some stuff shut down every demonic powers that rise against you and your family up your mouth no man blood up your mouth blood of jesus christ shut down the pain i said shut down the sickness Shut down the demon of poverty. Shut down lack. I feel a shift taking place. I feel a shift taking place. When you are in your dark situation, all you need is a word from God. When you're under the blood of Jesus, somebody say, I'm under the blood. Where the devil can't do me no harm. No harm, no harm, no harm. Where is the worshiper? Just tight. Up your mouth and say something. And the Bible said David inquired of the Lord. Weak. Discouraged. Feel like giving up. Weary. Exhausted. And David look around him and those who were warriors decide we're going to stone him to death. There are times in a Christian walk those who you look to for encouragement will release a stone on you. What are you going to do? When those who always stand by your side become an enemy to your calling become an enemy to your destiny become an enemy to your purpose david said bring me the ephod somebody said hide me under the blood of jesus christ of nazareth shire because while you're under the blood you can go before the throne Oh, Shire, that's what it's called. The mercy seat. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Shire. In other words, when you're under the blood, God shifts his seat. Oh, that's too deep for some religious folks. When you are under the blood and you go before God under the blood, God shifts his seat. He steps off the white throne, throne of judgment. 
and sit on the mercy throne. Oh, shy. I wonder where's the warriors. Are you here? And David asked God the question. Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? Oh, Shanda, where is the worship? It's kind of tight. Come on, reach your neighbor. Say, God answer you. And God said to tell you today, no backing down. Come on, tell your neighbor, no retreat. No surrender. Come on, tell your neighbor, no retreat. No surrender. No backing down. It's time to pursue. Come on, where is the warriors in here? It's time to overtake. And it's time to recover all. Everything that God promised you. This is the season. This is the time. You got to be radical. It's not by your own might. It's not by your own strength. But God said one word. Just one word from God. And that will energize you. Somebody say one word. One word from God. And everything turn around. Somebody say one word. You just need one word. When you reach the end of the race. When you reach at that place. When you have no prayer left in you. You have no cry left in you. You have no strength left in you. All you need to do is just stop and listen. Listen what God have to say to you. Just stop and listen and watch God turn your situation around. Can I close please? For there was, the Bible said there was a woman, a certain woman. She was a nobody in Israel. You notice there's no name for this woman. The Bible only call her a certain woman. And this certain woman, she had an issue. And her issue was a blood issue. I don't know what your issue is today. But hers, she was losing blood. And if somebody's losing blood, they're losing strength. They're losing power. Because the life of everything. You can ask any female in here and they'll tell you when it's the time for their cycle. If it ever pass beyond two, three days, they'll tell you how weak they get. He that lose blood, lose life. You're coming with me. This woman have a blood issue for 12 long years. She had suffered many things. The Bible says she went to many physicians she tried everything she spent all she had you're coming with me and she didn't get better she got worse the bible says can you imagine for 12 years you're going from doctor to doctor until you have no money left there is no physician Come on, warriors. There's no specialist, no gynecologist that can help her. They try everything and she's still having the hemorrhage. You're coming with me. Come on, warriors. But she heard that Jesus Christ was passing. The crowd was thick. She was weak. But she speaks within herself if I but just touch I wonder if there's anybody in here can speak within yourself if I but touch the hem 
of his garment I be made whole who am I talking to is there anybody in here can talk to yourself like David he encourages himself this woman speak within herself it's wrong to touch a priest when you are bleeding in the Old Testament if a woman to win her or her cycle she's unclean and she she touch she should not come in a crowd because any male she touch in the crowd became unclean for that day and she must never touch a prophet a priest during her time if she touch him he become unclean for the day but something in her spirit say if he can heal the sick if he can raise Lazarus from the dead you see Jesus didn't have her on his agenda he was on his way to Jairus' house. Oh, Shire. But she seized the moment. She interrupted the cycle. Because she had a cycle that will never stop. Jesus was on his mission. She was not on Jesus' agenda. But she just stepped right in interrupt everything where is the warriors in here man she speak within herself if I but touch she messed in with prophecy she disrupting the law the Torah because the Torah says if she's going through that season it's her unclean season and while you are in that season you must not be seen in the public that's what the law says but there's coming a time when the clean is going to come yes. because during the law if the unclean touch the clean priest the clean priest become unclean oh shy but there's coming a time yes. that a priest will come on the scene he will be the priest of all priests and when anything unclean touch that priest oh Shanda the unclean will become clean the woman step in the future and say if I just touch this clean priest my uncleanness shall be cut Don't miss this, please. She had her issue for 12 years. Jesus was on the way to Jairus' house to heal Jairus' daughter that was 12 years old. So it's a 12 class. Oh, shy. 12 is the number of government. Yes, and so, the woman with the issue of, of blood for 12 years represents the Old Testament. Represents the 12 tribes of Israel. Jesus now was on his way to the 12-year-old girl which represent the 12 apostles. Which represent the New Testament, the church. But this woman... She said, hey, I am not waiting until you are there. There is the worshippers in here, man. I'm going to interrupt you. Because if you are the Messiah, healing is in your wings. 
Mordecai said, healing is in your wings. And the hem of the garment, somebody said the hem of the garment, this is it. This is called the zit zit or the wings. And every priestly garment, at the end of it, you have these. These are called the wings. Once the priest has sweat hard, the sweat run down in the wings. My God. So the woman was moving into a dimension the natural man don't understand. She said, hey, me not touch him. My God. My God. My God. Where is the worshipers? You're coming in the wires. She said, I'm not going to touch him. I'm going to touch this. Amen. Oh, touch your neighbor. Say, you don't have to touch Jesus today. If you just touch that which is connected to Jesus, you shall be made whole. Because as long as anything is connected to Jesus. You remember what the other woman said? I don't have to get the bread. You don't need to give me the bread. Just give me the crumbs that falls from the table. Because anything is in the crumbs. If I get as much crumbs, the amount of bread will fill your belly. Where is the worshippers in here, man? You better touch your neighbor. Say, neighbor, if you but just touch anything that is connected to Jesus, whatever you need, oh, shine. I was in, I was up there Thursday night in the office, and a young lady came in the office and said, Bishop, I came to you because one of my church sisters came to church on Sunday and you call her out sir and she said you remember that lady that nice lady you call out and tell her about her two sons and that one have court to go Monday which would be Sunday and would be Monday yes. and she said I said yes I remember she said well bishop the young man went to court on Monday that's her that's her Shia Basaya, where is the worshippers in it? She said, Bishop, you gave her the rag, and you said that she must bring the rag to court Monday morning and give it to her son. She said, Bishop, Monday morning, the rag went into the court, and the case was thrown out. Where is the worshippers in here? Where is the warriors in here? You better reach your neighbor, say neighbor, if you but touch anything that is connected to him, your miracle is possible. Where is the warrior? This kind of too tight. The woman press. She was weak, but she press. Tell somebody, don't give up press. Oh, Jesus, I feel a shift in my belly. I said, don't give up press. I don't care what the doctor tell you, press. I feel something. Can I close the service now, please? I feel like touching a few people, deacon. Come on, touch somebody. Tell them, press. Never give up press. I know you feel like throwing in the towel. I know you're in a dark place. I know you feel like you're up upside down you know that caterpillar huh? caterpillar in the cocoon and the caterpillar somebody prophesied and say you are going to be a beautiful butterfly and he said butterfly and he said I feel something in me I don't know it's what somebody said a method Prophet Mephesis. Somebody said Method Mephesis. And that means an inside transformation is to transform from inside.
child out come on where is the worshipers is there anybody in here believe that there is a transformation taking place in your life you're in a dark place but something is taking place you might not feel it but there is a transformation they they say to the caterpillar you see look up in the sky as high as you can see that's how far you can go but you got to go through your process first you got to go through your dark place first is there anybody in you feel like you're going through your dark place if you're going through your dark place say you're preaching to me bishop come on warriors and they told me that the caterpillar was placed into a cocoon inside of the cocoon is dark who am I talking to inside of the cocoon the caterpillar is turned upside down inside of the cocoon is hot oh shire I wonder if anybody feel like you're in a dark place you can't move like you used to you can't move like you want to your life is upside down but God sent me to tell you just wait a little while longer something is taking place you might not see it because it's dark you might not feel it because it's slow but hold on and wait on your change who am I talking to a field the power of the Holy Ghost somebody throw your head back and said I'm waiting down here by the river come on warriors somebody say wait I say on the Lord and be of good cheer and he shall strengthen thine heart I heard that somebody saw the cocoon and heard groanings in the cocoon and say I'm going to break the cocoon I'm going to help the butterfly to come out but touch your neighbor say neighbor don't sorry for me I'm going through my process I'm going through my wilderness I'm going through my valley I'm going through my fire and I'm going through my waters I'm going through my river don't sorry for me I'm going through my poverty season I'm going through my lack season I might have much, not have much food in the fridge I don't have money in the bank I don't have good clothes to wear but don't sorry for me I'm going through somebody say I'm in my cocoon and you see if you ever break the cocoon to help the butterfly to come out of the cocoon the butterfly will be handicapped if you ever break the cocoon it will be a premature birth because God did not design the cocoon to be break broken from outside it's the cat is the butterfly wing got to one side one side one side and while he's pushing on the both side uh -huh, the muscles of the wings are developing because when you go out on the outside there are winds that is out there and it is the wind you got to go through the wings to keep him up there so his wings must be developed because there are going to be storms you know there's going to be winds and hurricanes and God said I 
got to build you first before I send you. You got to be fully developed before ministry because there are some dogs out there. There are some wolves out there in cheap clothing. They will tear you apart. So I got to build you first. So tell your neighbor, don't sorry for me. Don't try to take me out. Come on, warriors. Is there any warrior in here? Throw your head back, man. It's kind of tight. Open your mouth. Shout one more praise. I'm about to close this thing. Shout one more praise. Warrior, shout another praise. Shout one more praise. Come on, warrior, say something. It's kind of a little bit tight. And so, Isaiah, now I'm about to close this thing. And so, Isaiah, now he begin to prophesy. I told you that Isaiah speak things back and front, upside down, inside out. Because he's speaking from the eyes of the spirit. Watch Isaiah now. He giveth power to the faint. And to them that have no might. He increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary. The young men shall utterly fall. Come on warriors. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings as eagles they shall run and not be weary they shall walk and not faint let us take that and look at uh -huh, the bible scholars they call it the crusade a mm, hermeneutics that's how they put it let's take a look at this now because here Isaiah said they shall first be mounted then run then walk but in the natural realm it's opposite let's look at the plane the plane crawl walk then it <laughs> run down the runway then it mount up oh but isaiah turn it upside down because isaiah say a mount up first you run second and you walk third oh shia where is the warriors can i go into that please warriors are you here with me when you come to church and God fill you with his power yes. walk with me warriors God take you up you are up on cloud nine you're mounting you're up there with God you come to church and have time to see people Nobody can tell you if you're fast. You're fast, you're fast, you're fast. You read, you read, you pray. Nothing we're going to church. You don't know why you don't want to know because you're up there. Where is the worshippers? No church service miss you because you're a mount. Where is the warriors in here? But then Isaiah said after you're up there, you're all of a sudden you fall down. Boom. And start run. When you run now, all of a sudden you can't hear some things you are going to church. You are here who not like who. And guess what? You run. You used to come to church three times a week. You only start come two. Oh, shia. You used to fast three times a week. You only have fast one. You used to do three day and night. You only do one day and night. You now run again. You used to read the Bible. Three o'clock at night time, get up every three o'clock at night and pray. You stop praying three o'clock at night because you start feel like you repeat yourself. All of a sudden, you start feel like you get confused. Where is the worshippers in here? So you stop fly, you start run. Then Isaiah said, 
The person who are run, stop, run, and start walk. When you are walking, all on a sudden, the person who used to come at church, one week, two weeks pass, and you don't see them. What happened to your whole house in church last week? You don't have to work. Stop running and walk. The same person where you used to come at church and say, I don't want to hear people's business. I don't have time for people's business. All of a sudden, they might talk about who I chat, who, who not like who, who and who are malice from the choir, who and who from the ministerial board that carry news from one another. All of a sudden, they still know everything we are going on the church. All of a sudden, you see them start, instead of them come at church, they stay home and watch TV. Stay home and watch the service. Pa, pa. Face t- no, sorry, Facebook. Where is the worshippers? All of a sudden, the person who used to fast, stop fast. And when they pray, then get, go down upon the knee for prayer, then start sleep. Then start walk. Where is the worshippers in here? How are you there? You are the person that was up there. I, 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 you did upon eagle's wings. But now we are walk. And you never want no people business in the church. I know you are chat people. And you used to say, me too much malice keep. And you are keep malice now. Where is the warriors? It's kind of flat. Shy Abasa. But God give me a word for somebody. When you are at that level. God says, I'm going to find you. And I'm going to give you back the power you lost. Those who faint, I'm going to give you back power. I'm going to renew your strength. I'm going to put you back on eagle's wings. You're going to mount up again. Can I find 10 people who's ready to mount up again? And I find 10 people is ready to go back on eagle's wings. Come on, he give it power to the faint. Everybody stand. It's time to fly out. Shia Basa. It's time to go back up. It's time. God is ready to use you. Shia Basaya. Come on, eagle, hold on to somebody. Because we're pulling somebody up. Shia. You are too discouraged down here. Too many, too much discouragement down here. You are seeing too much things when you're walking, man. Shia Basa. Too much distraction down here. God said it's time to mount back up. Shia Basaya. My God, I feel something shifting already. Come on, warriors, get ready. After three, we're gonna mount up. I say, after three, Holy Ghost, I bring you back up. After three, your fasting life is coming back. Your prayer life is coming back. Your spiritual eyes is coming back. The anointing you're losing, that bed is coming back. Shanda Messiah, who am I talking to? Get ready, we're mounting up. Get ready. Come on, I know you feel weary. I know you feel sad. I know you feel exhausted. Get ready. You're going to fly out. You're going back to the level you was when you just get the Holy Ghost. You're getting back your zeal again. You're getting back your fire again. You're getting back your gifts again. You're getting back what the devil have stolen from you. Come on, what church people stole from you. You're getting back your conviction again. Shia Basa. Yamasaya. Shanda Basa. Yamamasaya. Get ready, warriors. One, two, three, shout!
Mount up with wings. I said, Mount up with wings. Come on, it's time to use up your wings. Use up your wings. Use up your wings, warriors. Use up your wings. The Holy Ghost is taking you higher. He's taking you higher. Come on, Lord, lift me up and let me stand. A higher plane than that sound. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Somebody fly out. Use up your wings. Holy Ghost is calling you. Holy Ghost is calling you. Come up higher. Come up higher. Get out of the flesh. Holy Ghost time. Holy Ghost time. Anointed time. Fire time. Power time. Shia. Yeah, Messiah. Yeah, Papa. Shia. Shanda. My God. Somebody pull out somebody. Somebody pull out somebody. God said to tell you. Use up your wings. God said to tell you. Move out from among them. Come out from among them. Be separate. Use up your wings. You are a child of God. Child of destiny. Child of purpose. Time to come up. Somebody say something. Open your mouth. Show the one more praise. Open your mouth. Holy Ghost time. Holy Ghost time. Come out of your hole. Come out of weakness. Come out of poverty. Come out of witchcraft. It's time to move out. Holy Ghost time. Shanda. Yamasa. Yapapasaya. Somebody say something. Open your mouth and say something. Open your mouth and say something. Open your mouth and move out. Come on, fly out. Mount up. Mount up. Shaya. Yeah, Messiah. Shaya. Yeah, Mama Sha. Yeah, Papa Shaya. Shanda. I feel a shift. I feel a shift. I feel a shift. Somebody move out, man. I feel a shift. Somebody shift out. I feel a shift. Somebody come up higher. Come up higher. Where the devil can't do you no harm. Where the devil have no effect on you. Shia Baba Basa. Yeah, Messiah. Yeah, Baba Sa. I feel a shift. I feel a shift. I feel a shift. He's doing it for you right now. Right now, somebody help her. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's it, somebody help her. Shanda Basa. Yeah, Masa, that's it, that's it. He's on you. He's on you, he's on you. The Holy Ghost is on you. He's doing it for you right now. Shia Baba. Shia. Somebody say something. Open your mouth. Yada the king. Open your mouth. Lift Jesus higher. Where is the worshipers? Where is the praisers? Where is the praisers? Where is the praisers? Say something in here. Say something in here. Draw your head back. Let hell know. No weapon form against me shall prosper. Every tongue rise up against me in judgment. Holy Ghost, pull them down now. Pull them down now. Somebody pull down something. Pull down anything over your head. Every negative force. Every negative energy. Pull them down. Every evil word. Release over your life. Every lying tongue. Hateful tongue. Murmuring tongue. Tongue of the witch. 
Turn off the warlock. Turn off the other man. Pull them down. Every curse word that was released over your life. Pull them down and trample them under your feet right now. I feel a war in anointing. I feel a war in anointing. Somebody declare war. Somebody declare war. War in unclean spirits. War in destiny killers. Somebody open your mouth. Shift the dynamics. Come here. Come here. I speak over your life one more time that you shall not die by cancer. I speak over your life that every cancer cell inside of your body die by fire. The Holy Ghost, the fire of the Holy Ghost burn up every cancer cell not tomorrow not next week but now somebody help her somebody help her somebody say fire fire what it goes fire let it burn let it burn let it burn somebody open your mouth show the one more praise show the one more praise i command Oh, Hallelujah. Holy Ghost, no need no help, son. Where is the warriors in here? Hallelujah. Where is the worshippers in here? Where is the worshippers in here? Where is the warriors in here? Hallelujah. Now, God say, want well, to heal cancer in a you. You believe Jesus can heal your cancer now? Yes, man. Where is the worshiper? Somebody said fire, man. Fire. Somebody shout fire. fire. Choir shout fire. fire. Shout fire. fire. Yes, he's healing. He's doing it now. Yes. yes. Somebody say something. Yes. It's not by might. It's not by power. It is by my spirit. Yes. Says the Lord of hosts. Where is the worshippers? Where is the warriors? Show your head back, open your mouth, and let the redeemed say so. Let the redeemed say so. Come on, redeem. Show I am redeemed, not with silver, not with gold, but I'm redeemed with the precious blood somebody showed redeem when my burden of sin was high redeem when my soul condemns to die redeem all the price i could not pay open your mouth show the one more praise the water is troubled, my friend. Look in my eyes. Shaya Basa. I have seen fourth degree cancer completely healed yes. young man come to church said to me that the doctor give him 14 days to live fourth degree cancer and I asked him one question I said to him are you ready to serve the Lord Jesus Christ the young man said to me no I said to him, doctor, give you 14 days to live. And you are not ready to serve God. Never did that before. That was my first time. I said to him, I'm not going to pray for you. 
I'm not going to pray for you today. That's what I said to him. I said to him, you're a wicked man. I didn't pray for him. He went back and sat down. I preach, pray for everybody else, and I didn't pray for him. I went home and prayed, but I didn't pray for him in the public. The following Sunday, he's back at church. Don't look at me like that. Because you are religious. That's why you feel the way you feel when I give that testimony. Remember how I start this testimony. Remember what I said? I said to the man. Remember I start the testimony by saying I've seen a lot of miracles. I didn't pray for the man. The following Sunday night. He was back at church. His neck became bigger. I preach and he stepped, stand up. And he said to me, I said, you're ready to give your life to the Lord? He could hardly move his neck. He did something like this. I said, yes, sir. I said, I'm not going to pray for you. Go on to the water. Mm. He went to the water with seven days to live. He went to the water. He was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. He came back to the altar. I lay my hand on him. And I command cancer to leave his body. He came back to church the next, what's the next week? The next Sunday. And the man that have the big neck was running around in the church. God heal him from fourth degree cancer with seven days to live. Why are you saying this, Bishop Winston Baker? I have seen many miracles. Fourth degree cancer, third degree cancer. A woman that got over eight stroke, her left side completely dead. Speech was gone. And God told me to take my rag and put it on her head. I was preaching out. No, I was worshiping the Lord. Get the mic to preach, but I was led to lead the service in worship. I put my rag on the head. And when I look, I see one hand push out. I said, God, which hand is that? Then I said, one foot in the air. I said, God, which foot is that? It was a dead left hand. And her dead left foot come back to life. She jump up out this chair and begin to run around the church shouting, I'm healed, I'm healed, I'm healed. I've seen many miracles. But my greatest miracle, the greatest miracle I have ever seen is a soul be converted. Is to see one person turn away from hell and give their lives to Jesus. My mission is for souls to be born for the kingdom of God. Where is the worshippers in here? Where is the warriors in here? As you come before me, I'm led to ask you, are you ready to be baptized in Jesus' name? He said, yes, he's ready. Come, son. I want you to go to the water. And when you're back, I'm going to pray for you. Where is the worshippers in here? Say something. Go with him.
Don't worry. It's a demonic attack, but God is giving her the deliverance. Come on, somebody. Somebody says a demonic attack. But don't worry. Jesus is delivering her. Shia. She touched some stuff. She touched some stuff that she shouldn't touch. And the demons is now affecting her. But don't worry. There's power in the efficacious blood of Jesus Christ. Complete deliverance in the mighty name of jesus christ no demon can have no power over the blood bought ones come on somebody shia bring her to the water oh sha come here son i'm gonna do something for you today by the authority invested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ I am going to take your name out of a certain place as of today we are risen worshippers in here up me a mouth and shout at God up me a mouth and give God another praise in here, you know. Up me a mouth and give the Lord another praise. Come on, it's not by might. It's not by power. It is by my spirit, says the Lord. There is a mighty turning around in your life. As of today, there's a mighty turning around. You're going back to the United States. God said he's doing it for you. It's not by mind, not by power. Come on, you believe God, warriors. Worship as you believe God. Worship as you believe God. Stretch your hands towards him. After three, all you need to do is say Jesus. And when you say Jesus, God will do it for him. One. Two. Three. Jesus. That's it, son. That's it. That's it. Somebody help him now. Somebody help him. Loose. Be loose. Somebody loose him. Be loose. Somebody say something. Up me a mouth and say something. Take me to the water. Shia. Go give your life to the Lord, son. Go and give your life to the Lord. Baptize in the name of Jesus Christ. Warriors, open your mouth. Come here. Yes. Shia. There's a turning around. The Lord said I should lay my hand on you and there's a turning around coming in your life. I see a witchcraft that was sent to break your family apart. Shia Basha. But tonight the Holy Ghost, today the Holy Ghost is fighting for you. Yes. Shia Basha. Yes. Come on warriors, stretch your hands towards us. It's time for war. Hallelujah. Come on worshippers, it's time for war. Come on worshippers, it's time for war. Get ready after three. One. I come against this pain. I render it powerless now. Jesus, somebody help her. Yes, sir, that's it, that's it. That's it. Oh, me, I'm out, why? Oh, me, I'm out, why? Shout another praise. Shout one more praise. Shout one more praise. Come on, warriors, come on. Come on, warriors, come on. Come on, warriors. Come on, worshipers. Somebody say something. Keep the praises on. Keep the praises on. Keep the praises on. Keep the praises on. No weapon form against you. God said, No weapon form against you shall prosper. 
today we declare war we're coming against every attack every attack every attack we come against it now he's fighting fire somebody help him. somebody help her open your mouth and give god somebody give god a strong praise in here young man stand up stand up i hear the devil whispering that he's gonna bring you back where you're coming from oh shy and today the holy ghost said i should push back that attack yes the devil is trying to bring something in your life to bring you back in bondage but i hear god says i should lift a standard against that attack somebody stretch your hands towards him after three just shout the name of jesus over him and the holy ghost will reverse the curse one two three run go run go lay your hand on him and reverse that no prison the devil is a liar somebody say something open me a mouth and say something open me a mouth and give god another praise it's not by might it's not by power it is by my spirit somebody say something the man show the one more praise now. show the one more glory show the one more glory show the one more glory god said no weapon form against you i said the holy ghost said to tell you he's fighting the battle for you there's somebody you're praying for god said he's doing it because of your prayer god is doing it somebody help her somebody help her Oh, shot. Answer the call. I see you in the middle. I see a demon on one side. And I see an angel on the other side. They're fighting for your soul. And to my surprise, you're leaning on the wrong side. To my surprise, the enemy. You are going, you're pushing to the left. And God said to tell you, shake him off because there is purpose on your inside. Shake him off because God has work for you to do. Shia, somebody help her right now. Somebody help her right now. Somebody, that's him, that's him. That's him, he's on you. The Holy Ghost is on you. Where is the warriors in here? Say something, warriors. Say something, warriors. Up me your mouth, say something. Up me your mouth, say something. Up me your mouth, say something. Shia. Shanda. Where is the worshippers? Say something, worshippers. Be healed now. Be healed. Be healed. Come on, warrior, say something. Up me your mouth and lift Jesus higher. Up your mouth and lift Jesus higher. Shanda basha. Jesus want to heal you right now. Shaya. Ahaya basha. Shaya basha. You should have been mad, but God blocked that. Here is the worshippers. You should have been dead. But God block that. Stretch your hands towards your warriors. After three, all you need to do is call the name of Jesus over her. For they that call upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered. One, two, three. Jesus, somebody help. Somebody shout out, out, out. Out the movement in your belly. The movement in your belly. Somebody say out, out, out. Warriors plead the blood. Warriors plead the blood, blood, blood. Blood, blood, blood. Somebody open your mouth. Let him heal right now. 
let Jesus heal you right now silver and gold have I none but such as I have give I thee in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth be healed somebody help her be loose be delivered reverse the curse reverse the curse bring me my rock you shall not die but you shall live and declare the verse you know what I hear the Lord said he said to tell you to be wise wise be wise not every skin teeth is laughed be wise Shia Messiah I hide you from every attack Shia touch your eyes that you may see Shia Messiah in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth somebody help him no weapon open your mouth and speak over him no weapon you shall not die I reverse every gunshot I send it to a far country you shall live and declare the works of God somebody plead the blood open your mouth warriors I said plead the blood open your mouth warriors I said plead the blood open your mouth warriors say something God choose you where is the warrior say something up me about why you say something up me about why your hands in the air if you are here and you're not yet saved come now if you are here and you're not yet baptized in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah if you are here if you are here and you're not yet baptized in the name of jesus christ come and do it now yes one person is ready shia one more person is ready go with her bring her to the waters there another soul come on if you're not saved and you need prayer walk to this altar Shia Basa. one more person is ready one more person is ready to be baptized in Jesus name come on the water is troubled the angels already trouble the water step out by faith without faith it is impossible to please God he that cometh to God must first believe that he is and that he's a reward of them that diligently seek him a sister in the white white hat there purple dress yes England actually if she's connected to England go on if she's connected to England Shia that England is, open. England is open on England is open and persons that are connected to her will travel to England because of her anointing go tell her bring her my rod bring her my rod preacher Shia no weapon form against you shall prosper she's ready one more person is ready to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah, hallelujah. glory yes one more person is ready to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ come on warriors come on worshipers come here come come yes come here Jesus Shia Come on, worshipers, say something. 
Keep the praises on, warriors. Keep the praises on. The kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is calling you. The heavens are open over your head. There is a mighty work for you to do. Shayabasa. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Shayabasa. I hear the Lord said to tell you. When you make the first step. He will make the rest for you. I see the United States giving way to you. Shia. Don't you go to the U, U, not the embassy, the US embassy alone. Go with the name of Jesus on your forehead and your angels on your right and your left. Jesus, Shia. Where is the warrior? Say something in here. Yes. Open your mouth and give God a praise. Oh. Open your mouth, give God a praise in here. Bring her to the water. Be baptized in Jesus' name. Come, let me wipe your head, son. Come. Come, let me wipe your head. I reverse death. I reverse death. And I break the cycle. I break the cycle. The trouble cycle. Every certain time when it reaches July to August, you are in trouble. You didn't tell me nothing. Nobody tell me nothing. I'm just telling you what I'm seeing and what I'm feeling and what I'm discerning but today I break the trouble cycle from off you now by the fire oh, you feel like somebody plead the blood you see that you see that you know what I see a while oh, you know what I see a while ago when I lay my hand on you I see something look like an African chief. I see he fly out, shoot out. And when he shoot, angels were behind him. Arrest him. Binding him. Where is the warriors in here? Open your mouth and plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Plead the blood. Complete deliverance right now blood coverage blood coverage shire shire blood fire shanda warrior say something warrior say something warrior say something warrior say something Favor, favor, favor. Jesus. Doing it for you right now, right now, Jesus. Shia, Haya Baba Basa, Jesus. Shia Baba Basa, Haya Basa, Shanda Basa. Glory to God. Glory to God. Shia Basa. 
Yes, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Jesus. 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 Yes, he's on you. 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 No weapon form against you. No weapon form against you. Jesus. Jesus. Yes, Jesus. She shall not die. She shall not die. Don't worry. God is doing it. Shaya Basa. Yes. Jesus. Silver gold have I none. But such as I have given thee, in the name of Jesus Christ, be healed by the power of Jesus' name. Shaya. The water is troubled. Hallelujah. If you're not in the altar workers altar workers where are you Jesus 